mix DJs, I want you to add some music to this. Whack MCs, I want you to remix this. Fake producers, I want you to embrace this. You ready? Here it goes. Now, I want everybody out there with a computer and the power to download, to put this on your website and or email it to BarackObama.com because the truth needs to be told. Stimulize the people. Can you please... Stimulize the people. Don't sound squeaky. My microphone's not nice. How you gonna give the banks money and the banks not gonna give me no money? Stimulize the people. I deserve a fair chance and opportunity. To put the money in the hands of the people is not irresponsibility those with responsibility will rise those with nonsensical thoughts of grandeur will fall if you were to give this same money split amongst legal Americans give it to them equally distributed money for children to pay for their college funds the colleges would receive monies. Exonerate debts. Rehomestead. Those people who have been in a home and have been paying on it for so long, their bank is going under. Give them their home. Give them their home. But see, but see, it's so crooked. They say, oh no, let's base this on the equity gained. If your house appraised at $435,000 two years ago and now it's $196,000, why should you have to pay taxes on $400,000 house? Where's the logic in fleecing the Americans, forsaking the bankers, taking taxpayer funds to pay bankers? who gave out fraudulent loans that they knew people was not going to give back while honest working people lose. Hmm? Because the bank is gone, you lose your house too, and you've been making your payments. Your fucked up loan, oh, oop. your frivolous loan, bleep that out. Your frivolous loan is now overburdening you. Your employers are cutting your hours and your taxes remain the same. People have complained for years that the cost of living is going up, but the wages never match the cost of living. And now the wages are going down while the cost of living is still high and the bottom is falling out. Give the people the money that you're giving to corporate America. Give the people the money. Split that same amount of money that you gave to the bankers the first time amongst legal citizens of the United States of America evenly. And though you say some would be losing money, it'd be stupid to just give money to people. People will screw it off. People are so hungry and starving. And since debt is a requirement for survival, give people the money to erase their debt instead of these companies money to erase their debt to still hold the people accountable for the debts that they have procured through fraudulent loans and credit what is the point of giving a high school person a credit card knowing that he's gonna be bound to it by life come on man If you can't do the right thing by all the people of America, don't do nothing at all. Because that's what people expect. They expect you to do nothing at all. Talk big. 
got my dog crying. So, understand, a true stimulus package, if not stimulizing American people, is not a stimulus package for the people. Paid for by the people. What kind of stimulus package is it that the people pay for but can't benefit from it? Once upon a time, America was homesteaded. How much those people were charged for their plots of land? We got crooked banks going under. Let the banks collapse. The banks that survive are the banks that survive. You give people the money, the people will go put the money in the bank. Or, I propose a United States of America ID card with a sum of money on it. But it can't be no piddly four or five hundred dollars. You can't give the American people seven, eight hundred dollars and expect them to be happy. Eight hundred dollars? What will eight hundred dollars do in the average household? What would sixteen hundred dollars do for the average household? You can't base everybody's living on what some other person lives way down in Florida. Some retired person living off some fixed income who's doing pretty fair. You base everybody's income on something like that. No, it doesn't work like that. There's debt. Debt is enslaving Americans. Why debt was created, I don't know. But at this time, in American history. Instead of exonerating those who have created debt, you should exonerate those who have been created as the debtors. Uh, whatever the hell I went. You know what I meant. You can't just keep strangling people until there is nothing. Once there's nothing, they'll become chaos. And of chaos, what do you get? Nothing. A bunch of people that you're going to be mad at willing to turn on you at any second do for the people of America so America can survive or you might as well just do away with America so if there's any knowledge in this video you should have downloaded and sent it to one person take that f-bomb out though it is no need for this in this video but these people don't understand they, they can't see past saving a bank if you give the people of America the money and you split that money up evenly amongst people, just do it in age groups. I said it once in one video. You give kids between the age of 14 and 19 $52,000 for college. Because I saw just recently the average price is $49,000 to go to college. So you give them $52,000 to put in the bank account. And if they don't go to college, they get that money when they're 25 years old. That's the money sits in a bank. Drawing interest. So where's the logic in that? Oh, people would just wait till they're 25 and take the money and spend it into the economy. Then you give another age group X amount of dollars. Plus more incentive to start new businesses. Even though you know the failure rate will be high, people will go to work. And you can springboard from something, especially if there's something while there's a bunch of nothing. And then you give a married couple, say, $620,000. First thing they do is pretty much pay off the house, start repairing the house, dig in for the long haul. Maybe some people's house is okay, they might open a small business. Stimulize America by giving the American people the money. Because you cannot stimulize the people by giving banks the money when the banks won't loan you the money. When they're going to tell you you don't qualify just so they can keep the money. The same money that they were given to bail people out or to help people, so to speak. They're using it to fatten and line their pockets. Or give their good old boys loans. To keep their economy going. Pass it on. Go eat breakfast, man.